hello guys and welcome to a brand new video and today i'm going to start the record of ragnarok now um first of all uh, i'm a manga reader i read the manga and i was very hyped about this show until it came out now here's the thing i've not checked it out obviously but the ratings and from other people i've heard that is bad I like I don't know like I've still not checked it out I'm still not sure how like you know I'm going to like it I usually do not you know pay attention to the animation if they do not skip stuff you know like usually they like there's been a lot of instances before where uh, the animation or the adaptation mess up and usually you know unless and until the animation is as bad as seven deadly sins I think it was season three unless it's that atrocious i usually do not care about animation but there's a big but here this is a battle manga now the main essence of this show is the battle scenes so i think this show messing up its animation is a pretty big deal so i'm not sure how i'm going to whether i'm going to like it or not but i'm the one thing i'm quite sure that i am definitely going to be disappointed in some portions you know in some uh parts now the question here is how much am i going to get disappointed that is the question here is because the manga is the manga is amazing it's 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 one of a kind so like i am a person who usually do not read battle mangas and like you know i, I do not like you know I, I it's not that i don't like them i usually do not like you know read them or uh because I, you know I, I kind of focus on storytelling mangas but the setting of this manga was so unique i was extremely drawn to it and i checked the manga out it was amazing the battle scenes were amazing the story was amazing everything was so good so if the story is done well if they did not skip anything in this anime it'll be good but i'm not sure i'm, I'm not even sure what to expect so let's check it out i'm, I'm a bit worried here because i was really looking forward to this and after hearing everything from all the people i'm a bit worried now all right and another thing i'm going to say here is uh, because all the episodes have been have come out all the episodes 12 episodes i think i usually weekly like you know i watch manga weekly and i uh, not manga sorry <laughs> react to uh, uh, the anime series weekly but uh, like i also thought about reacting to this weekly but since all the episodes have come out i'm going to binge react to this every day one episode will come out same time during the same time so like you know i'm going to end this in 12 days so that's just a little information that i wanted you guys to know so every day there'll be a new reaction of record of ragnarok until it ends so yeah so yeah guys let's get started let's get, let's see what like you know like how they did the adaptation why people are so like you know like disappointed and sad with the adaptation let me check it out myself so yeah uh, without further ado let's get started with record of ragnarok episode number one so yeah i'll be putting subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three Two, one, go. Okay. Netflix original anime series, all right. The biggest danger, yeah. Shumatsu, Shumatsu no Valkyrie. Council of Valhalla. Huh, there he is. Zeus. Ah, Shiva. Ha. 
<laughs> Zeus is one of the biggest troll in this anime or manga. Okay. Oh my gosh, Shiva. <laughs> oh damn, Aphrodite. That's Aphrodite, isn't it? Mankind itself is a calamity. Ah, ah, that's Aphrodite. I remembered. Oh my, yeah. Obviously, I've, I've seen all of this in the manga, but still. Um, I have an objection. Brunhild, come on. I love her voice. I have to check it out. Who is her voice actor? I'll check it out after it ends. It's very familiar, her voice actor. <laughs> oh. Who? Who's? Oh my god! Uh, yeah, Odin is... Uh. The animation is a bit, I can see. Like, this scene, like, it looks weird. We're having a battle, no, a tournament. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I can feel the art. It looks weird sometimes. Oh. oh boy, oh boy. Ah, <laughs> okay. Well. Thirteen versus thirteen. Th I think thousand years is a very less time. <laughs> you know, at least looking at it in the big picture. This guy, yeah, impossible, kind of. Utterly, not utterly, but. <laughs> Purely as a joke. <laughs> hmm. A void. 
<laughs> Do you want to avoid fighting with them? I scared. <laughs> oh great. Oh my god. <laughs> the voice acting is amazing. That's one thing I have to. Oh, the voice acting is on point. <laughs> oh god, oh god. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you'll end up being ah. Okay, who's that? Is that Aphrodite laughing? No, they're amused. <laughs> she knew it. <laughs> she knew how well, how this is going to go. And angry at the same time. Yeah, you're correct. <laughs> the pride. That's one thing. Ah, Zeus. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, okay, I've, I've seen what happens after this in the manga. Ah, there it is. Ah. <laughs> uh, and there you go. Well, there you go. <laughs> Unexpectedly approved. Uh. 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 Well. Well, there you go. Okay, uh, I can f see, like, you know, like, some scenes looked really weird, especially Brunhild's face. You can, it's kind of deformed in a lot of the scenes. I can probably see how this is going to go, you know, especially the battles. So, and visuals looks okay up until now, but I don't know. Okay, another thing I should mention, it's been a while I've read the manga, so my memory is kind of hazy. So... One thing I am probably unable would be unable to detect is if they skip some portions. Him the watchman. Okay, as far as I can remember, it was Ryofu and First battle, Rofu and who was it? I forgot. Who 
Who was it? I, I forgot completely. What the hell? Oh, it's, um... Ah, oh, Tar, okay. Yeah, it, it was Tar versus Ryofu. And there he is! Ha! <laughs> yep. And Ryofu is going to come. And yeah, most many occur. The foolish human. <laughs> And Okay, come on. Ah, there he is. <laughs> she buys. <laughs> what? Ah, there he is. Yeah, everyone knows Ryofu. Whoa, look at that. Oh. Yeah. Ryofu, there you go. <laughs> oh, Buddha is Buddha is supposed to be in our team, isn't like in the, in the humans team as far as I remember. Yeah. You know, one thing I really do not like in animations is this kind of hazy... Like, I'm going to talk about it later on in the discussion portion. <laughs> Bazaar of Thunder. Whoa! Ryofu! Yes! Max Volt. <laughs> Who is this? Who is that? They're, they're not giving the... They're not giving the name subtitles for the names. Oh god.
Yeah, it's, it's a real fool, obviously. <laughs> there with all its flags and all the... <laughs> One thing I can see here, I'm going to talk about it later on. A lot of things that I don't like that's actually happening. Best. <laughs> All right. <laughs> He's excited. <laughs> In the Norse mythology, Heimdall, the watch of the apocalypse. Ah. Damn. Start. Thor versus Lubu, R uh, Ryofu. <laughs> Damn, he gave it his all. Nice. Ara? <laughs> Woo! Ha! <laughs> Look at that! Oh, you're approaching me! Ha! <laughs> okay. Neither of them in intention of sizing them up. <laughs> yeah, they don't care. <laughs> beat God, beat anyone. <laughs> this is a, that's a, like you know the way the strong actually does stuff. They don't care. <laughs> All right. And Okay, and we start the battle
Okay, let's say that we've not heard the opening, have we? Is this the opening, I'm guessing? I guess it will be something rock. Yeah, <laughs> I knew it. It would be something rock, uh, you know, rock and roll or something. Oh, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> okay, perfect uh, opening for the perf, like, you know, for, for this show. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Okay, is that the end? Oh, yeah, that's the end. Oh, mate, let's try something else. No. No, that's the end. Okay, uh, so... First of all... Now, here's the thing. Mm, we barely had any kind of fighting, so I cannot judge it properly. But a few things... Like... The first thing that I should mention here is, as I said, like it's a bit of hazy, so I really cannot say if they actually skipped some portion in the manga. You know what I'll do? Like I've read the manga. It's been a while I've read the manga. I'm going to kind of like, you know, like skim the manga again, you know, to actually understand like what is missing or did they actually skip stuff or not? Because I've already read, uh, like, you know, read these portions already in the in the past. And so I'm going to kind of like, you know, look over them again a little bit to jog my memory until I've like, you know, I've read like I'm going to say where up until where I've read the manga. I've read the manga, excuse me, up till the uh, part with Shiva, like we all like I got to the portion where Shiva was going to fight with the Yokozuna as far as I can remember. And that was it. I did not read after that. So that's up till that that portion. I have the knowledge and it's as I said, I, it's, my memory is kind of hazy. So I'm going to like skim past those uh, like you know manga uh, chapters a bit so that my memory can get refreshed up until the shiva portion so now as i said like you know like i cannot say if they skipped some part but one thing that i can say this episode made me feel is that it it dragged the whole thing i'm going to be a little bit like you know to be like i'll, I'll be honest here it was boring it, it really was um they dragged the whole portion for 20 minutes it, it seemed as if the way they were like you know talking and everything was dragged i don't know why but you know like i felt it that way i like when i started this episode i thought they were probably going to like you know like the first portion the first 15 minutes would probably be them introducing everyone the whole thing with uh you know the the battle the tournament they're going to talk about it brunhild is going to say that yeah we're going to fight all that stuff is going to happen up till 15 minutes and the less rest of the 15 minutes not 15 but the rest of the 5 10 minutes that is left we're going to have the battle the first portion of the battle and then in the next episode we're going to continue the battle something like that they they dragged the whole portion up until the 20 minute mark 20 22 minute mark and the last one minute they showed the uh, battle now <clears throat> like obviously like it's bad if they like you know rush the thing that's definitely bad but it's also bad if they try to drag it like you know now i'm not sure how this is going to go like they dragged this portion so long so i'm guessing they should also drag the battle you know they should properly animate uh, and do the battle i expect that so i expect the next episode we, we, we're going to get like you know episode two i expect it fully to be a full battle like you know battle episode 
I expect that. I'm not sure what I'm going to get. But you know, if they if if it is something like they are dragging the like, you know talking portion and they're shortening or rushing the battle portion, that will be bad. Very bad. And I'm kind of fearing that might happen here. I don't know why, but you know. So that's my first impression is it's, it's kind of boring. It, 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 it was really dragged. My first impression. The second impression that I had is the animation. Obviously, I cannot say anything about it now, you know, because we barely saw any kind of animation, any kind of movement. The battle is going to happen in the next episode. The next episode, I'm going to actually, you know, see how the animation <coughs> actually is. The few scenes that we saw them battling, the animation looks kind of not good. I, I don't have a good impression of it. It seemed as if, like, you know, they were fighting, but the only thing that we saw in this episode was actually Rofu and Thor kind of like you know clashing their weapons and them actually kind of you know like going back a few bit and then again come together to fight and that was where it ended that was basically the little animation we saw here um the animation looked kind of clunky so yeah i feel like the animation is not going to be good in the next episode we'll see you know and um because this is a battle manga you know adaptation obviously i'm going to focus more on the animation so like you know making a battle manga like this if it, you know making animation bad in a battle battle manga adaptation is definitely not a good idea if this was some kind of like you know like manga which focused on the storytelling you know and there were little portions of battle i would have given it a pass if even if the animation was bad you know but since this is a battle manga adaptation if they mess up the uh, battle animations that's definitely bad so yeah that's another thing now so these are like the negative portions that i felt about this episode the positive thing you know, one thing that I loved in this episode is the voice acting. Now, here's the thing. First of all, I'm going to check out uh, who is Brunhilde's voice actor. Uh, because her voice is very familiar. You know what? Um, I, th I, th I think I can probably guess who her voice actor is. Um, I play a lot of Honkai Impact and I think I've like, you know, her voice actor is uh, Mei, a Japanese voice uh, actor of Mei in Honkai Impact. Let me just check because her voice actor is very familiar. Okay, she's voiced by Miyuki Sawa. Oh, okay, here it is. Hmm. Oh! It's um <laughs> I, I really realize it now. It's it's Kuro Pika from Hunter Hunter. Uh Kanbaru from Bakemonogatari. And let me see if uh Yeah, Raiden May from Honkai Impact. <laughs> I, I I forgot about Kuro Pika and Kanbaru from Bake Mono, uh, Monogatari and Hunter Hunter. Yeah, I, I, I can feel it now, you know? Like, yeah, that, that's, like, that's her. So, yeah. <laughs> it was amazing. The, the thing that I loved about this episode is her voice acting. It was fantastic. Uh, uh, yeah, that, that, like, you know, like, her voice acting is on point. If I envisioned Brunhild watching, like, you know, reading the manga, if I envisioned her voice, this would probably be the voice. And that's one thing I really appreciate. And all the other voice acting has been good. But I was really impressed by Brunhild's voice acting. That was fantastic. Oh my god. <laughs> it, it kind of tickled your ears, you know, like whenever we saw her speak. Oh my god, that was amazing. <laughs> okay, and nothing else to say about this because as I said, like they barely said, like showed us anything. It was just the introduction and I feel like the introduction was a bit dragged. Uh, I want to know you, you guys' opinion, you know, like was the introduction really dragged or what did they do it correctly but because i kind of felt a little bored by the end of it you know like as they were kind of like going along with the lines and everything i felt as if they kind of dragged it 
I don't know, it might be only me, you know? But yeah, okay, and another thing I should mention here is <clears throat> in portions, in uh, like, you know, little portions, I felt uh, uh, Brunhild's, Brunhild's um, uh, visuals kind of weird. Like, you know, when she was kind of standing and like, you know, in her still shots when she was talking and all, a few of the scenes kind of showed her face kind of deformed. I, I, I felt really weird. So I can feel the visuals are also not properly done. Now, I don't know, <clears throat> you know, like, I don't know, like this, this, this manga is supposed to be very popular, you know, and I really wanted a good, you know, like animation team to properly do the battles and all. Like I can tell from this episode that in the next episode, we're probably not going to get a good animation. And I've also heard from other people. So like I can probably guess what's going to happen in the next episode, especially with the battle animations. So that's why I'm a little bit disappointed, you know, because I was really looking forward to this, the adaptation, because the manga is really good. Now, here's, here's one thing. Like if you guys have watched the anime, you know, I'm sure a lot of you people have already watched the anime and like you know you did not like it or something did not like the animation and all be sure to definitely go and check out the manga like you know you'll understand what we are actually trying to say like the difference that you'll see the manga is fantastic you know so like if, if you are a, a someone who has already watched the anime and you did not like it uh and you like you know want to give this series a second chance go read the manga like that's the only one thing that i want to tell you guys because i'm sure you, you'll change your mind after you watch a re read the manga another thing that i th uh, what was i going to talk about uh oh yeah another thing um i'm not sure if this there's a name for this but you know like uh in a few animals i i always see this like you know in, when in battles and stuff the the visuals are kind of you know like a bit bright and the, the characters are kind of like, you know, hazy. I'm not sure if that's an effect that they go for, you know, but in this episode, when like, you know, when uh, Thor and Lu, Ru, Ryofu comes down, you know, and we, and we see they are going to start their battle, the, the visuals, it, it was bright, like, you know, the color, the color schemes are amazing. The color schemes kind of like really pop out and I like that. But one thing that I really do not appreciate, I've seen not only in this, uh, like, you know, anime, I've seen this in a lot of animes, especially uh, like, you know, animes, like, you know, battle animes, like the kind of, like, you know, the, the, the scene kind of gets hazy a bit. It feels like, you know, you, it feels like you're standing in the middle of the hot sun. The sun is hot, you know, and like, you know, the effect where it's actually like, I, I don't know if I'm, I'm probably able to explain myself, but everything looks kind of hazy and bright. That's one effect that I really do not like. So I was a bit concerned about, you know, like the trailer itself had this kind of effect. So I was a bit concerned about it. And I can see like, you know, when they started fighting, I can see the effect. Yeah. It, it, it like it looks kind of like that like you know bright and hazy but you know if the animation is nice those won't bother me but the animation is also kind of clunky so i don't know but yeah we barely even started you know like we have not even seen the battle animations so in the next episode i'm probably going to properly like you know judge how this is you know as i said like <clears throat> uh the animation i usually do not give it much uh importance you know at least for me if, if the story is good everything is good even if the animation is bad but since this is a battle manga i'm definitely going to you know focus on the animations and if the animation is you know bearable then it will be fine but if it is really bad then yeah that, that's not good so yeah i'm waiting for the uh, like you know the next obviously i'm going to react to the next episode the next day and another thing as i said i is i'm a bit concerned is about the pacing i'm not sure how that's going to go because the first episode it felt as if they dragged the prologue you know it really dragged it and you know like 
it, 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 I don't know. I, I kind of felt a little awkward in the end because it seemed as if they were like you know talking very slowly and everything was happening so slowly. They were like you know for twenty minutes they were just talking and like like what what did they do in this twenty minutes? You know like they decided to end all life on Earth. Brunhild came in. She stopped them and she said that we're going to fight the ragnarok is going to happen everyone laughed and then they got mad and zeus told her to select the team members and they'll select their own team members then we get to the you know the arena where we see all of these characters who were actually supporting the you know like ryofu and some were supporting thor and then comes in the two characters and then they barely start fighting this is basically what happened in this 20 minutes and I think that's a bit too long. I don't know. It, it might be just me. You know, I might be, like, you know, just uh, be bothered by this. But yeah. Anyways, so I'm, I'm a bit, little bit concerned about the pacing, how this is going to go. <clears throat> what else? Nothing else. Nothing much else to talk about here. It's very self-explanatory. We all already saw everything. Now, one thing I want to say here is that, uh, like, you know, I've always thought about this. It's not like related to the animation or anything. It's just something that I was a little bit curious about because we have Brunhild here, you know. So I suppose I'm not even sure. Like as I said, like I stopped the manga during Shiva's portion, so I'm not even sure if the manga has him or not. But I was really curious about Sigurd, you know, Sigurd. So, like, I was curious, like, are we going to get him? Because Brunhild is here, so I suppose Sigurd could also come in a later portion. I'm not sure, this is just a little curiosity, you know? Like, it would be really cool if we also get Sigurd, you know, like Brunhild and Sigurd. For people who do not know, like, who Sigurd is, you can go check it out. Like, you know, Brunhild and Sigurd, they're, like, you know, like, involved romantically. There's, like, a whole thing about them. So, yeah, like, that's one thing and uh, like it's a tragic story you know like brunhild and sigurd's story you, you, you definitely go check it out if you don't know who sigurd is so yeah like that that's a pure curiosity <laughs> you know like uh, i don't know any anyways i just wanted to like you know share that and uh, yeah so yeah that's it so that's it so my uh, initial impressions okay average you know which is a bit disappointing because I had a lot more expectations of this. And the next episode where we'll probably start the battle is going to be the main one where I'm actually going to like, you know, like say my impressions, how I, whether I like it or whether I don't like it. So like, you know, like, like from all the people actually saying that, oh, this is bad. I like, you know, this is not good, uh, unexpected and we're disappointed like from those people like i've heard it so my initial impression like you know kind of lowered like you know you know it happens kind of like you know when you are quite excited about something and then suddenly when it comes out and everyone says that oh this was so bad you know your impressions kind of go down and then you like when you see the anime or the the show that you're supposed to see like you know with the lowered uh, uh, impression rate you start actually fussing about things, actually trying to find out the portions that you do not like, which you probably wouldn't have done if you did not hear about the criticisms from other people. So this usually happens. That's why I'm saying like, I won't say anything unless and until I see the next episode where the actual battle is going to happen. Like, you know, but still uh, the first episode, average, moderate, mediocre. That's what I'm going to say, my impression. It's neither good nor bad. It's kind of okay in a way and uh but i felt bored in the first episode like that's my biggest uh what can i say um like that's the biggest complaint you know i have like it felt boring like the manga is like everything's happening so quickly like bam boom like you know like they talk they and then they started fighting and like, like it's, it's it, it feels like a battle manga it is a battle manga you know everything's so fast-paced and quick and but you know, like this first episode looked kind of as if they were like, you know, like slowly, slowly going, talking, everything was happening in slow motion, this, that, they were talking with each other. And uh, yeah, like that was basically so that's why I'm a little bit disappointed, but I won't judge until I see the actual fight. 
so yeah that was my impression of the first episode so uh, i want to know you guys' opinion as i said like this is just my opinion if you guys have any other opinion be sure to share it with me in the comment section so thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say your impressions about this show or anything else you know uh, i'll definitely check them out all the criticisms you have or all the like good portions you have like you know the, the things that you liked about this ad adaptation and the things you did not like about this adaptation be sure to let me know and uh yeah and uh so uh, another thing as i said before like this won't be a weekly uh, episode thing this will be an everyday episode reaction like you know today when this episode goes out i'll also be posting another the second episode the next day you know same time so this will go on for 12 days uh, like each and every day I'm going to post out one episode reaction so it will be ended in 12 days so that's one thing you should keep in mind and uh, like like unlike my other like anime reactions which I do weekly this would be daily so yeah so that's it guys so okay so final again like like I'm going to talk like you know like finally I'm going to talk about as I said like in one word what I liked and what I disliked first the thing that I liked voice acting of Brunhild and the voice acting of a few other characters that was impressive i really loved that that's the like portion of this episode the dislike portion of this episode is how it was so lengthy they dragged the whole thing that's one point that i disliked another point that i disliked is the visuals were kind of weird in a few scenes another thing that i disliked the third point is the animation looks clunky kind of like you know it, it, it looks weird it looks as if everything is happening in slow motion like these three are the disadvantages point that I did not like. The thing that I liked was, as I said, voice acting. So yeah, so see you guys in the next episode. Uh, so until then, goodbye and have a nice day.